Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Game Zone. In this video, I will be testing out a new legendary set piece for Demon Hunter that just came out with the patch, and it is specifically for the Reign of Vengeance skill. And what it does is corrodes enemy armor, increasing damage taken by two percent for three seconds, stacking up to five percent. So we will be testing this out in this video. But before we do that, I'm actually going to remove some of my legendary gem which could mess up this testing. So in order to do that, I am going to remove few of my gems which I know actually does make it harder to test. So I'm only going to keep Carson Invigoration and Bloodstock Jade as they give us consistent damage and consistent attack speed. Also, I am going to test this as a basic skill just to see the difference between the chess piece and without chess piece. So right now, I am going to test this without the new chess piece buff and see what's the difference is so yeah let's go all right i'm heading into wartham now and see how it goes i won't be using my vengeance here i just want to see the base damage all right 26 is the highest that is i am seeing right now 33 33 is the highest i got uh all right again let's see what's the highest hit 9163 with reign of vengeance that is what we are getting with this buff and now let's test this with the new chess piece all right i'm back at the essence transfer and about to change to the new chess piece and let's see what's the difference here is going to be and back to Wartam once again and let's see what's the difference here with this let's get the movement speed all right where are the enemies i think i only killed half of them uh, all right we can see that their damage this armor is breaking down but anything else or was that it? All right, let's try it again. Ten thousand damage, nine thousand five hundred, nine thousand nine hundred. All right, so they are taking actually more damage when they lose their armor. Does that mean I can also crit higher? Let's find out. We need actually more enemies here to test this properly. But anyways, there should be wolves spawn back again. Let's see. This should be. No? Okay. Nine thousand seven hundred is the highest I am seeing, but my primary isn't uh proking great. I could actually make make that all right. All right, thirty-five thousand. I'm seeing a two thousand different two thousand damage buff when I break their armor. Huh? Let me read the description here. I'm a bit curious here. Reign of Vengeance increase armor increased for three seconds for up to five. All right. all right let's try this once again and i accidentally activated my vengeance of course habit i cannot help it all right i have to f all right we have a lead now this is good actually Thirty. Seven is the highest I've seen. Alright, so that makes 
normally i was hitting around 33 the highest if i'm not mistaken let's see i saw that 37 is the highest 32 yeah all right 33 all right so we are actually dealing more damage with this when we break their armor and the difference is 5000 damage so my question is now is it good with any bills if we lose our cooldown on vengeance well the good thing is you don't have to change your set items to make this new uh, chess piece working instead i think this is going to be a really good chess in better ground and what i would suggest everyone is to change this shoulder to reign of avengers to summon a beast and use this instead with the new chess piece and as we know when we are playing battleground you have to play safely which means you have enough time to recharge your vengeance before you get back into the conflict with another opponent so having a cooldown on your chest isn't really necessary in battleground instead you guys can actually use this chest piece and combine it with the shoulder that unleashes the shadow beast and with that you'll be able to deal extra damage to your opponents uh, to the other players and deal much much more damage and uh, this is the only scenario that i can see that this is actually really good just for battleground but when it comes down to outside of pvp i would not suggest anyone using this chess piece as we know that the lower cooldown on ranges is the best way to go against uh, npcs monsters so yeah but anyways this chest is actually really good for pvp and not pve and uh, i can see that many people would try using this and combining it with the uh, shoulder that actually unleashes the shadow beast and uh, this can be actually a really good combo in my opinion and i will be testing it out later on but yeah this is the only way i can see this uh chess piece which can serve as good as demon hunter anyways this is it for the video and i will see you guys in my next one until then take care have fun and bye guys and i will see you guys with another one see ya It's a professional.